and welcome to Kobe's Kitchen. Today on the menu is a lemon pasta recipe. It's our family favorite. I'm so excited to bring it to you today. We're gonna start off with our pasta water. I already have our pasta water um, up to a boil and you wanna use a big pot whenever you're using long pasta, okay? And also, a trick, you guys, most home chefs, this is a number one mistake they do. They don't add enough salt to their pasta water. You're gonna think I'm crazy how much I'm gonna add. To this big pot, three tablespoons. I'm just gonna put it right in here. All right, and then give it a little stir, and then we're gonna add our pasta. All right, now let me just add our long pasta here. I'm using spaghetti. Actually, this is a thin spaghetti I'm using today. Just gonna dump it right in. And then uh, just kind of stir it around. And if you're using a pot that's a little bit shorter, don't break your pasta, you guys. Just have a little patience. As it starts to wilt, as it gets hot, it'll turn for you, okay? All right, we're just gonna cook this for, you know, whatever the package says, usually about eight, eight minutes or so. So while that's cooking, let's make our sauce. It's so easy, you guys. I make it right in the same bowl that I'm gonna be serving um, the actual pasta in. So we're gonna start off with um, two thirds cup olive oil. You guys, this pasta sauce is so easy, it only has a few ingredients. Olive oil, lemon juice, and Parmesan. So it's real important you use good ingredients. So this is the parm I'm gonna use. It's two thirds cup Parmesan, and it's really important that you um, grate it fresh yourself. At least that's how I like to do it. If you wanna buy it already grated, go ahead. But the way I like to do it is to grate it myself. And I have a little clip, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the rind. Save that for later, you guys. Just pop it in your freezer and bring it out to help flavor soups or any kind of uh, sauces. And then I'm just gonna chop this up, just like this, into nice little small pieces. Okay, we're gonna dump it in the Cuisinart right like this. Put the lid on. And then just give it some spins, you guys. It doesn't take time at all, it's really fast, and it's super important to have um, as fresh um, cheese as you possibly can. It's always worth doing. Okay, so you see how easy it was. That's why I always do it myself. And if you have any extra, I just put it right in the refrigerator, and then my kids grab it, and they use it to put on top of the pasta. It's just lovely. All righty. I'm gonna zest it right into the bowl here, guys. Let me just turn the limit. It makes it real easy to just get it right in the bowl like this, just by turning your limit. And you get all the, um, the oils of the lemon, which is really, has the most flavor, to be honest. I mean, don't ever skip using the lemon zest if you can. Okay, we got that in there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lemon and get the rest of the juice that we need. Um, a tip, you guys, always, always zest first because if not, you can't get a grip on the lemon to actually zest it. So now we're just gonna add it right into our olive oil and cheese. Give it a nice spin here. Just stir it about with a whisk and that's it. And we'll just set this aside until our pasta's ready. And what we can do in the meantime is go ahead and get one of the toppings put together, which is gorgeous, fresh basil. Look at these beautiful leaves I have, they're gorgeous. Just gonna take some more of these leaves. Then what I like to do is just try to um, kind of roll it up a bit if you can, as much as you can. You're gonna use a lot of it here, just kind of mush it all together. And then with your knife, you're just gonna kind of slice it right like this. And then I use this mainly for a topping, but I also throw a little bit in as I'm putting it together as well. All right, now that's ready to go. All right, we'll just come back as soon as our pasta is ready, give it a spin, and we'll finish our dish. Okay, our pasta is ready. Now this is what I like to do with this recipe. I just take it right from the pan and just dump it right into the bowl here. Let me tell you why, because I like to stir it a little bit as I go. It makes it a lot easier, I found, with the coating the pasta, okay? So I just kind of stir it around like this. And then I'll go ahead and grab another batch of it. And this is the way I like to do it. And don't worry about the um, extra pasta water that's getting on here. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna add some extra pasta water, actually, because 
This pasta water is like liquid gold. It's the best. You never want to dump this because all the starch in here will actually help give some body to the actual pasta sauce that we're making right now. All right. Now, the taste test. Let me put some in a bowl for me. I like to spin it around. Put a little more on top. And like I said, you guys, this is an absolute family favorite lemon pasta. Let's do the special taste test. Delicious as always. It's so bright. The lemon is just so bright and fresh. And when you definitely use your fresh basil, all those flavors come together for an all-time family favorite. You guys, I hope you make this and I hope it becomes a weeknight dinner for you because it's so simple. It's definitely a weeknight dinner. And please, you guys, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much, okay? I appreciate you joining me in Kobe's Kitchen. Bye.